Hello. Hello, Dave Glass here, back with another Kickstarter. So just before we get on to that, um, you've probably heard about my friend and partner in comedy crime, David Wyatt, who sadly passed away last October. He went off to the big slapstick party in the sky. So thanks on behalf of all of his other friends for all of the kind messages of condolence. And we'd like to reassure you that the D&D mission of releasing rare films from comedians that deserve to be seen will continue. In fact, David and I had already started work on this new project before he passed away, and it was one that he felt particularly passionate about. So we all feel it's appropriate to dedicate this particular release to him. Thanks, David. This one's for you. So, who did we think deserves a bit more attention and appreciation this time? Yeah, you can read. It's Monty Banks! Bellissimo. David and I always had a soft spot for Monty and felt he was a very underrated comedian. Back in the 1920s, he was hugely popular all over the world. He's probably best remembered for that runaway train sequence used in one of Robert Youngson's comedy compilations, but other than that, he's often forgotten, which is really unfair, especially as he was one of the few comics, apart from Chaplin, Keaton and Lloyd, to graduate from two reelers to features successfully. In fact, he made Nine features. That's more than Langdon managed and almost as many as Keaton and Lloyd. Italian-born Monty moved to the USA in 1914, hoping to be a dancer, but he was drawn to the movies, and in 1917 he started doing a few things at Triangle with Senate, then a few comedies at Fox and LKO, before catching the eye of a certain Roscoe Arbuckle, who used Monty in a number of his shorts in 1919. He then worked for Charlie Chase at Bullseye, Larry Seaman at Vitagraph, and within a very short time began starring in his own series of comedy shorts for Warner Brothers. The two reelers he made there between 1920 and 1924 was so successful that he then made the transition from shorts to features and he made six box office hits between 1925 and 1928 and then even more after moving to England where he then went on to direct and produce films with stars such as George Formby, Laurel and Hardy and Gracie Fields who he married in 1940. So his existing work is rather hard to see and therefore appreciate because it's locked away in the archives. And that's where we come in. Hi. So what are we going to include? Mm -hmm. Well, we thought it would be great to see some rare examples of his earlier work and then follow his transition through to the late 1920s with a full length feature. And once again, our film friends in far flung places have come up trumps. Great name, beautiful name. To start with, one of Monty's earliest films he made uh, for LKO in 1918, it's called A Blind Pig. It's courtesy of Serge at Lobster, it's great. I mean, it's more or less complete. It's wonderful quality, as you can see. And it's nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Then from the following year, 1919, we have, from the Library of Congress, the Charlie Chase directed her first false hair. It's a bullseye comedy featuring Max Swain, Leo White, and Charlie Chaplin. No, it's all right, I know. It's Harry Mann doing his Billy West tribute act. Again, it's nearly complete, it's wonderful quality, and it's nuts. Got all nuts! Thank you. Then another rarity. This is from the following year when Monty started his own series of two readers for Warners. This is the second one he ever made, actually, called A Fliver Wedding. And this comes courtesy of me. Yeah, we found that the Cinema Museum in London had this, but as you can see, it's not that great a copy compared to this one that I found. But my copy is literally falling to bits, so this is going to require some very careful restoration. Uh, but it is complete, and it's full of great gags, as you can see. And talking of the Cinema Museum, we're pleased as punch... <laughs> to say they're supplying scans of two ultra-rare Monty shorts from his 1921 series for Warners. That's Fresh Air and Cleaned and Dry. And is that a Jack Duffy I see before me? And look, is that Stan Laurel's brother, Ted? Cool, Lummy. And hey, there's more. 
Yeah, Sergi Boy at Lobster is letting us use the existing footage of his wild goose chase, which is both hilarious and also shows off Monty's daredevil side, as does their beautiful scan of paging love. Yeah, it's the one where Monty's a bookseller and gets into some crazy situations. It's a crazy movie. Yeah, we know this one is available elsewhere, but this is the version that's available elsewhere, and Lobster's print looks like this. Mmm, yummy. So those seven shorts should be enough, yes? No, you know us. You want more, we want more, and we'll think you'll like this one. Courtesy of the Library of Congress, we present the only full-length copy of the Monty Banks feature film, Play Safe! Yeah! ta -da! Yep, it's the one with the train chase on the end sometimes unfortunately referred to as chasing choo-choos. As you'd expect, the train sequence itself at the end contains loads more footage than you've seen before. It's literally twice as long. I mean, and look at this. He did nearly all of his own stunts. And as you can see, he's nuts. That man's nuts! Grab him! It's a... <laughs> It's a gorgeous 35mm nitrate print. Mm. It is missing a couple of little bits and pieces here and there though, but we're finding those from another source. More information on that when we can confirm it. As you'll see here, it needs a bit of speed correction and restoration as well, as do all the films on this set, but we're very confident that this will be a Blu-ray of comedy that you'll treasure forever in your collection. And as with our previous releases, we'll be ensuring that the films look the best that they can possibly look. They'll have new scores from Meg Morley, Ethan Uslan, and Donald McKenzie. And as before, there'll be a booklet included with fascinating info about Monty and his films. So there'll be over three hours of top quality comedy Woo! on a Blu-ray. This will be our fourth collection of silent comedies, mm -hmm. but we don't take things for granted, so... Don't reflect, tell all your friends, and make sure you're not left hanging around, and you're not left behind. Just march off to Kickstarter, so we can hit that target, and we can pull this thing off, and reveal the full Monty. I, oh no, we better not go there. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and hopefully little Monty Banks and his films will be appreciated a little bit more in the future as a result of your support. Thank you for your time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>